Hey, what's up? It's May 9th, which means it's Bryce's birthday today, and the kid turns 16 years old. Now, I know number one question everyone everyone's asking is, is he getting his license? Is he driving? Technically, here in the state of Arizona, you have to have your learner's permit for six months exactly before you can get your license. Now, if you guys remember, Bryce did not get his learner's permit right away. In fact, he waited almost two whole months, which means he cannot get his license for two more months. Um, I think we did the math correctly. It's somewhere towards the end of July. So big regrets. He can't get his license and drive solo until almost the end of summer. But uh, he's doing great with his learner's permit. He's doing fantastic. He's getting way more, I think, driving than Sierra did. So no license, but he is, he is driving uh, with us as much as he can. Now, the original plan for tonight was to uh, take Bryce to go get dinner. He wanted to do a burger, so we're going to take him to a burger shop, local place, get a burger and fries, and then he was going to go to basketball practice. And while he was at basketball practice, Tiff and I were going to go get his birthday gift. Um, unfortunately, he somehow didn't get the text message, he's not in the group chat, to say that practice got moved up tonight. So instead of being at 7.30, it was at 6.00. And it ended a little before 7.30 because the coach said, hey, everybody go home and watch the Suns game. So uh, we show up to his basketball practice and everyone's leaving. <laughs> coach is like, what are you doing? And we're like, what are you guys doing? So he clearly missed that message. Um, so we continue to do our plans, but then we gave him the choice. Hey, do you want to wait in the car while your mom and I go get your birthday gift and then come back out and surprise you? Or do you want to go inside and actually pick out what you want for your birthday? And he opted to pick it out. So that's what happened. That's the evening. So now you're all caught up. Oh, yeah. In Guardians of the Galaxy playlist. It's got like, it's got two of them in here. It's a bunch of different so, songs. So it's the awesome mix from the movie, like his actual cassette right uh -huh. and then these are the actual original scores so this is the music from the movie does mm. it make you understand yeah so like original soundtrack which is music that was written for the movie and then these are the songs that peter quill played but these are like known artists on the uh -huh. radio okay make sense makes sense so you're getting both you're getting both both soundtracks basically red and yellow there you go sick and then we're going with the he's picking on his own record player in black and red going black and red Portable. It's like a it's like a briefcase. Yep. Speakers built in, and you can also hook it up to your Bluetooth. So you can either play the vinyl on another set of speakers, or you can play something like your phone through these speakers. So it goes both ways. And why? Why a record player? I don't know. I like I saw them a long time ago. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. And then I was like, oh, my birthday's coming up. Like, what do I want? And Julio started talking about them. So then. I looked him up and I was like, that actually be really cool. And like, I looked at like artists that I listen to, songs, albums that I listen to, and they all have like vinyl records. So I was like, that'd be pretty cool. Should I have one in my room and I can collect them. Even if I don't listen to music, just collect them. Cool. That is a thing you can do. Mm -hmm. I have friends that collect vinyl. Just put them on the wall. There you go. Next stop, Z Records. So, went with and picked it out. It was, uh, I got a record player. Uh, yeah, there, I just got what was there, and there was like nothing that I saw, but there was a Guardians of the Galaxy um, soundtrack, so I got that. And it's got it's got some good songs on it, so. All right, so I wasn't here this morning when Bryce got his gifts from Sierra, so you want to show what she got you? Two Funko Pops. Yeah, he's he's on his uh, he's on his collection. I'll we'll have to go upstairs and show. I don't think we vlogged like your wall. Yeah. Like I think we talked about the shelves you got. Like maybe when we put put the shelves up. Maybe. I'll have to show them your collection though. So what you got? Um, she got me Devin Booker. Devin Booker. Going yeah. crazy in the playoffs right now. He's actually playing right now. Yeah, we got to show the Suns game. We got to watch that. Yeah. Um, and the Suns Gorilla. The Gorilla. So both Suns. Mm -hmm. Nice. Pretty sick. Yeah, she asked if you had any sports ones. I said, yeah, you got uh, yeah, Tyler Kyle Murray. Murray. I, I think you guys. We got it for you Christmas. Guys for Christmas. Yep. Yeah. Cool. All right, let's go upstairs. Yeah. And to be honest with you, I don't even know where record player came into the equation where I, I didn't even know he knew what a record player was <laughs> i never owned a record player there it is yeah 
All right, so this is the uh, Crosley Cruiser Premier portable turntable and Guardians of the Galaxy, the deluxe vinyl edition. So it comes actually with both albums. It's the awesome mix that uh, Quill, Peter Quill, like listens to. It looks all the iconic music from the movie, but then also the original score from Tyler Bates. And I, I knew Tyler Bates. I, know his, I knew his name. I couldn't remember what movies he's done. 300 is what I was thinking of, but I didn't realize he actually did all the John Wick soundtracks too. So I like his music a lot. All right, so up first is the awesome mix, and it's double-sided, so you have to just pay attention to which side is what. Which one's like the front side? You have to read, because I don't know. Side zero. That's sick, it's red. Yeah, the other one's yellow. Or side A, side B, okay. There you go. So, like that. Just lay it on me. Ooh. There we go. Okay. I have no idea how this works. <laughs> you know watching YouTube videos, bro? No. So I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's on. Volume pitch. What is this? Photo? <laughs> Quick, get the instructions. What is this? <laughs> what is this? You don't know. You don't know how to use one of these. Auto stop on off. Oh, this thing's zip tied down. You should probably you know. Oh, you probably yeah, cut that off. Set the speed switch accordingly. Speed switch. This. Oh. Okay. Place the record on the turntable. Oh, I actually. <laughs> yep. Yep. Release the tone arm hold down clip. You did that already. Gently move the tone arm over the record where play is desired to begin. So. Set the tone arm level back down to the down position and the tone arm will, de will descend slowly into the record and begin to play back. So just move it over where you want to start it and then let it go. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Now the the tricky part is you gotta figure out where the you gotta figure out where the beginning of the song is. Okay. This is the, so this is the banger. This is like the first one. This is the best one. Okay. And it just plays all the way through. Mm -hmm. See how this sounds. Like. Moves it over. So I think that front side's like, it starts off with all the like more popular songs that everyone like likes, maybe? It should be in the order they were playing the movie. Oh. Only well, I mean, they probably play the bangers at the beginning, that's why. Of the movie. I mean, it does start off with one. <laughs> 